touchdown. Day two, the Best Fest 2022, Atlanta, Georgia. It's gonna be a lot of people bringing the heat today. Tons of people dropping gems on how you can create multiple streams of revenue uh, or passive income. So if you guys ever get an opportunity to be in a place like this, make sure you guys tap in. So I want to create this vlog uh, to take you guys along the journey. Now let's get it. It's a local sports brand business back in Indianapolis, like we were telling you about. I serve as the brand ambassador for because obviously, you know, you're saying I got the fitness brand and all that. But when we made that connection with you, I definitely want to find you again today so I can lay this in your hand, meet the result about meeting the right people, you know what I mean? So this all this set all for you. I just want to get in the right hands, my brother. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Um, Wall Street Trapper, like just in that moment, like for him, like I was just so happy for him. Like I it was all everything is I learned a lot of battery. but following him and like his story and like battery. his background and knowing to like see him on that stage and that element, like whatever, like that was very like moving for me. Inspirational. Yeah, right. most definitely. Do we need people to save us and save us seats for Tyler Perry or are we just gonna be in the back? We're probably gonna get we're coming from there, bro. I'm at this barber, man. Any man's cars. I like to network with different people. If I can't reach you, maybe I'll keep doing it for you. I'm just networking with all kinds of barbers, brother, and I appreciate it. I'm Jelana Barber. Jelana Barber from Los Angeles, California. Can we get in the Yes, sir. Yeah. What's your name, brother? All pain. All pain. Everybody move up. Thank you, thank you. Rich man's up. I love it. I love it. 
love my sister, boy. <laughs> I love it. Guys, so, how y'all feeling today, family? Y'all feel blessed? Y'all feel received, nourished, replenished? I hope so. The one thing I want to say, man, a brother was asking me what he should take away from this weekend. And really, you're supposed to take this with you. You're not supposed to leave it. Like, the atmosphere that you get here when you feel inspired and you feel like you're around people that are also building wealth, you understand me, and taking themselves to a higher level, you're supposed to make sure that your environment makes you feel like that. It shouldn't be an environment that makes you feel enthused, confident, happy, focused, and wealthy, then you gotta go back home. That's like taking a vacation and gotta go to a job that you hate. So you gotta make sure that your environment, whether it's the people you hang around, whether it's the content you receive, or whether it's the physical house that you have for yourself, it has to feel just like this. It has to feel prosperous. It has to feel good. Otherwise, you're in a toxic environment. You want something that's opposite of your vision and your dreams and your goals. So you have to force yourself to be in this environment to where this feels normal. We have to normalize this. This is not supposed to be a special occasion. This is supposed to be a normal occasion. When we make building wealth a special thing, it will never become a normal thing. When we make it a normal thing, there's nothing special about it. Now we get to go to the extraordinary stage. Now we get to focus on what's in our imagination. What did my young son say he wanted to make a movie or they wanted to build something? I can focus on that because my capital and my equity problems are not there. My mental health issues not there. My issues with my woman is not there. So when you are able to cultivate the right environment, that's when you cultivate that God within. You understand me? And when that God is within, it's present on an every day-to-day -day basis. Everything you do, you say, be, and it is. When you get to that power, you can say, be, and it is, that essentially means like when I say, it don't take 21 days to start a habit. It's the day you start and the day you don't quit. As I always say, procrastination is the abortion clinic of ideas because we lack focus. And if you have focus, you can push passion to produce any idea birthed into reality. And if you understand that fundamentally, it means that anything you start, you will finish. It means that my brother give me his word, he's going to do something I know is done already at a later point, date, and time. But if you don't believe yourself, then it might happen. It might be reality. It might be the future. But that's consequential on your word being connected to who you are. You know, I say, Telling the truth is the easy way to find your purpose. When you can't lie, everything you do has to be real and purposeful. So even if you text somebody laugh out loud and you're not laughing, that's a lie. You understand me? You gotta get to a point where you tell no lies so you do no lies because language creates the expression of your physical implementation of things into reality. That's why I say every level of consciousness comes with a new language. But speaking truth is a language within itself. And when you learn how to speak truth regardless of fear or consequences, then you are walking in the way that you are meant to walk. And when you are a baby and you give your unsolicited opinion and the adults say, don't say that. Why? The baby was speaking the truth. You understand me? If you allow your children to be able to foster that truth until adulthood, then you are raising what's considered to be a perfect human being because they are in the conditions of how human beings are supposed to prosper. Right? The word Hebrew, or the word sin in Hebrew means off target. I'm gonna leave y'all with this. So anytime we are off target, we feel like we're sinning because we're going against our nature. And our nature is that of a righteous human being. And any righteous human being will speak truth, move truth, do good unto others. So even when we're doing bad unto ourselves, we have that self-accusing spirit that lets us know. But the more accusations you give yourself, it lets you know how really good you are. Because otherwise, bad would become normal to you. But you know, I ain't supposed to do this. I ain't shouldn't be drinking. I shouldn't treat this person like that. Right. Nobody else accuses you. That's you in your own head. So you try to filter and drown out the God because it's always talking to you and telling you to do the right thing. When you learn to come with cooperation and agreement with the God within, then you start to foster everything that you want. Every single thing that you say will be real and you will stop saying shit that's fake. You will stop following things that's fake because it will have you off target. It will have you lined up with who you are. So you have to make sure you manufacture the things within. As the Honorable Minister Luce Farrakhan talked about, the imagination is the greatest nation on the planet Earth. 
That's the factory that produces everything that we see in our reality. So we may live in different worlds, but our worlds are made of systems. Institutions such as the banking, the schooling, the fantasy institution, such as what Tyler Perry was talking about, the things that feed the mind. You know, I was listening to a, a, a preacher talk about, you never let the right hand know what the left hand is doing. But what he was talking about was that it represented the conscious and the subconscious mind. You understand me? And when you learn how to juggle your conscious and your subconscious mind, you might tell yourself something and you might have doubt, right? See, the thing about the subconscious mind, once you enter something in there, you don't have to ask permission. The subconscious mind has to take it, right? So you don't tell the right hand what you're about to put into the subconscious because you want yourself to believe it. Otherwise, it might stop you. Are you gonna get a million? Self-doubt pop, now you ain't getting no money. You keep telling the right hand what the left hand is doing. You gotta make sure that you tap deep into your subconscious by programming your frequency, your frequency, so that everything you see, you hear, you touch, you smell, the people around you, they program in your subconscious for wealth and power. And before you realize that you believe it, and it's hard to get yourself out of that belief. Once you harden a belief, it is hard to unbelieve. You understand me? It becomes unbelievable. You telling me what I can't do, that's unbelievable. So anytime you tell yourself something you can do, it's believable now. See, the universe expands at the rate where light reaches. So when your mind gets new knowledge, it means that light is reaching places that were dark. And once your mind is expanded, it can no longer contract. So now that we are here in this day and age, this generation is receiving more light than any generation on the face of this planet Earth. So now we just have to figure out how do we fit our ideas and our visions in this new expanded mind and this new expanded time. And that will only happen if you can align your word, your mind, your principles with your actions. without God. My greatest teammate, my greatest mentor, you understand me? My greatest disciplinary has always been God. And a lot of people will make money they got, right? They put God, they put money right up here. God somewhere down here, they make money they got. Because they fear if they didn't have this money, they won't be who they are anymore. They won't feel the same. They fear consequences of doing better. You understand me? So oftentimes, instead of building up the substance of things on the inside, they build up the material of things on the outside and they utilize that to define themselves based on their work. But when you build up your principles, your morals, you understand me, your substance, your integrity, that's when you have it to where that man can stand next to a plane he just bought, but he ain't got shit on 19 kids. Because you are cheap in everything you buy when you broke on the inside. You understand me? So for me, my father and my mother and the teachings have raised me to first qualify and validate on the inside. And what's on the inside will reflect the reality that you live on the outside. It's that simple. You're not gonna put nothing in no machine and it spits out something different than what you put in. So if you look at the consequences of your life, it is only a production of the things you put inside yourself. So if you have nothing, because you put nothing inside. You can't say nothing, because you study nothing. You can't produce nothing, because you haven't nurtured yourself from the womb of your mind to birth things into reality. So before we just get the skill sets, our mind has to be working. That's how I know that a man is alive, when his mind is able to say, be, and it is. Damn, I said I'm gonna do something and I did it. Women, you wanna measure a man by the height of who he is? Look at how much his word is aligned with his reality. When he says something, does it get done? If it don't get done, how do you know that that man has a mind that works? That's why I always say, once you get to that man age, you are able to manage yourself. The Honorable Minister Lou Farrakhan said that business is the activity of life. All of us have activities every single day, right? But it's your business that you do every day profitable. 
the way you manage your activities, is that profitable? So you're not at a man age if you haven't administered your activities to a level that's profitable. And profit is based on what you want to produce and the outcome of what you put in based on what you get out. So when we have these things in courtship, we're not doing this the same level next year. It can't be. We can't do this the same level. The Honorable Mr. Vargas had two million black men and women. So that means that in order to honor our ancestors, we have to stand on the side of them and go further. Otherwise, we spin in the, the face of all the lessons they left behind. All the grief, all of the pain. If they did this and we don't learn from it, are they smarter than me? If they were smarter than you, their life is a book you can read. How they gonna be smarter than you if they come after you and you can learn every lesson that they went through? That makes no sense. So in this technological age, this revolution, whatever you want to call it, it will be dependent upon the minds who tap into themselves. The reason I say you understand me so much because I want you to say in your mind, I understand. If you don't understand, don't nod along and keep going. Stop, study, pause, make sure that I actually do understand. We think we have to finish a race. You understand me? No. Stop where you are fishing at. I get this, I'm gonna stop this video, or I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna watch this 10 times. But we don't know how to study, we don't know how to learn, so we don't know how to develop ourselves. I'm gonna say something that might be controversial for you. Today, we will fight harder for the ideas of protecting our ability to avoid life more than we would do for family. You won't see a march out there for family. You won't see a march out there to help raise your children in the right conditions in the right schools. But the moment it comes to something that's politicized, well, I might not want to have a family. We out there at arms. If we don't have the same love for producing family as we have for killing family, then we will never have a future of building family. What the hell is wealth without family? Nothing. One man's dreams, goals, and aspirations. They will never become generational. So generational wealth starts with development of self. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all for coming. I wasn't prepared to do all this. I appreciate y'all.